When you're breaking into a new tier or like a new boss fight and you're just coming close but you can't quite get the job done, you put in work, uh, you got the shards you need, you grinded out some mods, and you're just so close to getting over the hump for getting that next boss kill or that next tier unlocked, the answer may be right in front of you. And I think a lot of these get wasted uh, on people just having fun and memeing around. However, they are quite powerful. And uh, we, of course, are talking about little peepers here or old peepers in his uh, daily gift. Uh, these, of course, you can pick up every single day as a login reward. And they're going to give you these carnival flares. Now, these Although they do add a visual, like a temporary cosmetic to the game, they also do other things. Like, we've got ones that are just raw power buffs, whether it be to your hero damage, your ability power, or your crit chance or crit damage, and with your defenses. Uh, we also have others that are like the Trust Me Disguise that's just a raw damage multiplier. Uh, 1.25, that's 25% damage buff, just for using the Trust Me Disguise. Uh, the Rainbow Fro is going to throw some cats as you're firing or swinging. Uh, you've got like the Snow Liger, which this one, of course, uh, is movement speed, which isn't necessarily going to help you out break it into a new tier. However, more faster is better. Uh, same thing there with the Bunny Mask. That's going to give you a little bit more jump height. Now, the Imperial Grin, this is 25% extra damage resistance. If you're going into some new content and you're having trouble dying, Give yourself 25% extra damage resistance. Why the heck not? And then we got the super buff of all the buffs, and that is the Dragonfall Popcorn Machine. Now let's jump in and take a look at all these carnival buffs, uh, exactly what they do, and if they're worth using. Now just as a baseline, let's, uh, let's grab a different weapon on my hunter here. Uh, let's actually go with the Earth Guardians. We got a strip down Earth Guardians. Uh, no mods on it, and then additionally, I'm not going to be buffing myself or swapping uh, at all. So we'll get just straight raw damage figures all the way throughout. Now, first things first, as a baseline, let's just auto attack uh, without buffing or doing anything else. And see what kind of damage output we're going to get here. Uh, you see we're right at about, uh, on the target dummy, we're right at just over 4 million DPS. Uh, just say 4.25. Actually, we're dropping down. We may end up averaging. Eh, it's going back and forth. Uh, you see the baseline is right around 4 million DPS uh, with no swapping or buffs or any of that stuff. Well, let's take a look at, um, let's say the cat. Let's throw the cats on first with the rainbow fro. Uh, this is going to make you throw some cats. So as you're firing, uh, the rainbow cats are going to shoot out at you. And as you see... They actually can hit fairly hard. Uh, that was a 1.7 million crit there. Not too shabby. Now let's let the target dummy reset and see what this does for just our baseline DPS. Uh, once again, using that Earth Guardian's bow. So we were right around 4 million DPS. Um, you see we spiked up much higher. Uh, the cats are adding uh, a nice bit of value here. And it looks like... You know, figure if we settle in at around 5 million DPS, then that's a 1 million DPS gain or a 25% gain in DPS just by adding in these cats and slinging them around. Now, of course, there are all sorts of damage buffs. So let's take the Trust Me Disguise and let's throw that one on there. Uh, that's going to replace the cat one and it's going to give us just a straight 25% boost to our overall damage output. So let's take a look at it here. Uh, let's get the spray going on, and we should see a 25% gain in our damage output. Um, it actually feels a little lighter than that. Uh, maybe, uh, well, it, it's going up and down. It's definitely a gain, no doubt. Now, obviously, the Trust Me Disguise here and the, the Rainbow Fro, those will not stack with each other. However, we do have other things that will stack. Now, I'm not going to go through all of uh, the cosmetic ones or the utility ones like run speed or jump height or damage resistance. But let's say we come on down here, uh, the strongman salve. Now, this one's a 10 minute boost. 
use to gain a boost to hero damage. Now, uh, as we see, our Trust Me Disguise is still up, uh, up under your nameplate in the top right corner, or, you know, just kind of look at your character with the big ol' schnoz. Uh, however, with the Trust Me Disguise, our hero damage is at, or we're at 238,000 hero damage with the Trust Me Disguise on. Now, if we go ahead and we pop a Strongman Sev, this one is going to raise us up to 310,000 hero damage. Uh, of course, we've got one for ability power as well, so if you're an ability power user, the Spellcasting Sev is the one for you. But now we see we've got the Trust Me Disguise and we've got our Strongman Sav in there as well. So we take a look at our damage once again and, you know, unbuffed, etc, etc. Just spraying, you see, we are now up substantially over where our baseline has started. Now you also have the super buff of all things. Uh, I wanted to hit that last. That, of course, is the Popcorn Machine. Now, the Popcorn Machine is not a buff you cast. It's actually a machine you place on the ground. And then teammates included, not just yourself, can run up and click the Popcorn Machine to get a buff, which, as you see here, it gives you hero damage, hero health, hero crit chance, defense power, defense health, and defense crit. This is the super buff of all buffs and just available from your daily login reward. So good, good stuff there. Uh, I'm not going to pop one of those down right now. We'll do that at the end as it doesn't, I don't want to uh, throw off all the other numbers. Now, let's take a look at your defenses. Well, we've got ones for defenses as well. Uh, starting off, we've got um, a defense health salve. Uh, that's a hero, uh, hero health salve there, uh, the enduring salve. So you would combine that with Imperial Grin to get yourself up. Let's actually take a look at it. See, we're 244,000 um, health right now. If we pop our Enduring Salve, that is going to take us up to 293,000. Now, of course, we can pop our Imperial Grin as well. And now we've got that 293,000 health with additional damage resistance. So you see, these buffs will stack up and give you a tremendous amount of power. Now let's look at the defense health stuff, or, or the defense uh, stuff. Let's use a Spectral Knight for an example. Let's get it all full jacked, and let's give it all the things we would normally give it. So we got a boost aura, uh, we've got a destructive pylon, uh, we got a buff beam, and uh, let's take a look at where we're at. Let's let all those buffs kick in here. And we take a look at our Spectral Knight, and on the tooltip, it's given us 6 million DPS. 6.35 million DPS. Now, we do have tower buffs as well, so we can take a look at our Tower of Power Sav, used to gain a boost in defense power. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that off. Um, you will see these numbers. I think it updates right here on your hero sheet for all of them. If we look at our Spectral Knight right now, it's showing 241,000 defense power. If we go ahead and pop our Tower Sav, uh, let's go ahead and let it refresh. And actually, no, it's not updating that one. However, if we go in and look at the tower itself, we are now at 7.06 million tooltip DPS. So we got a nice little gain there. Now, if we take a look down at the crit chance and crit damage, we're at 44, just say 45% chance to crit with 113% crit damage uh, currently on our Spectral Knight. If we go ahead and we pop our Defense Crit Chance Sav, and then we take a look at it, well, now we're at almost a 65% chance to crit. That is huge, y'all. It's a massive, massive gain in crit chance. You see our tooltip DPS now jumps up to 8 million damage. Well, let's go ahead and pop our uh, defense crit damage sav as well. So we're at 113% crit damage. After we pop our sav, that is going to bring us up to 133%. So 20% crit damage, which in turn jumped our tooltip DPS up to 8.73 million. So these are all useful tools for you to stack up your damage, whether it be your hero damage, your defenses damage, and use these tools to help you get those first wins. 
If you're going in and logging in every day, there is no doubt that these things are starting to stack up for you. And in a lot of cases, you'll see people selling them or just pitching them as they do take up inventory space. But let's go ahead and drop that popcorn machine now. Uh, with all these buffs, we're at the 8.73 million DPS on our Spectral Knight. If we pop down our popcorn machine, it's going to throw the machine on the ground. We're going to have to run over to it and activate it to get the buff. You see that little uh, Attorney of Crystal icon for 60 minutes that popped up under our nameplate. That is our super buff. And now take a look. We are 9.79 million tooltip DPS after all these goodies are stacked up together. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at our uh, just regular firing rate. Uh, let's see, we'll go with this dummy over here as it appears to be semi-reset. And, you know, now we're bouncing just with our auto attack. We're getting up over the 10 million mark in spikes just by spring. So that is, what, that's 150% gain in my just base auto attack damage just by popping these buffs over what we started with. So use your carnival buffs wisely, y'all. If you see them from another player for cheap, they're well worth buying, um, especially if you're new to the game or just breaking into like some of the Chaos 10 content or just higher content period or some of the Chaos 8 and higher boss fights as we know they got those big old fat damage resistance shields. Um, you can use these buffs to help you overcome that. Now, um, as I mentioned, I just I, I feel like a lot of times these just get wasted or thrown away. And it is just a super, super useful tool, uh, particularly anytime you're breaking into new content. But that will do it for now, y'all. Just a little tip, really, for newer players or advancing players in Dungeon Defenders 2. Hopefully everyone's having a wonderful start to their week, and I will see you all next time around. Take it easy.